Today we'll be doing a GPS accuracy test between the MSFIT GTR3 as well as the Huawei Watch Fit 2. So these two smartwatches were on my wrist while I was doing my trail walking in a natural reserve in the southern part of England. So as you will see in the footage of this video, I was walking around some quite hilly parts and you can see that some areas were quite open with not much trees around while some areas had quite dense forest. So this is going to be quite an interesting test. Well, I was actually expecting that the GTR3 would do better, but well, I don't want to give too much away. So just sit back, relax and enjoy this GPS accuracy test of these two smartwatches. Let's get into it. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So today's trail walk did actually take me just over 90 minutes. This was massive. The weather is absolutely astounding. It's a bit cooler here than in London. In London, it's about 26, 27 today. So it is a bit too hot to be in the city. So I was driving down to this beautiful natural reserve. It's just beautiful parkland forest land woodlands around me and I was going through some of the hills I was going down into the valleys and I was walking for just under one hour and 40 minutes so as soon as I started the actual walking I switched on the walking activities on both of these trackers as well as a GPS device so on the GPS device we can see that I did cover 6.59 kilometers so that is very accurate you can see the map there you can see where I walked how I walked and so forth now these two watches here well I expected that the GTR3 would perform better considering it does have its latest gizmos on here and they're very similar to the GTR3 Pro which proved to be very accurate in the previous tests but the Huawei Watch Fit 2, well, considering the initial model from last year was not good at all, some of its GPS test results showed that it was up to 20% off from the benchmark GPS. I didn't know what to expect. So here we go. 6.59 kilometers is basically the benchmark result. So we'll start off with the Amasa GTR 3. So what we can see here is 5.79 kilometers so that's off by about 14 percent that is quite a hefty distance to be off but again we do have to consider the fact that there are some densely treed areas that we did cover and only some open spaces but then again off by 14 percent that's not exactly spot on with the Huawei Watch Fit 2 we see a distance of 6.01 kilometers so that is actually a great result because that is under 10 percent variance and it's 50 percent better than what we see on the amasfit gtr 3. now in the next video so probably in the next day i will be following up with a video where i will be breaking down these stats from this walking trail that i've done so over the one hour and 40 minutes what we see in regards to the heart rate on both of these watches we'll be looking at the screens that you see for the fitness or for the activity that was taking place we'll break that all down we'll look at the fitness metrics such as aerobic fitness we'll look at the recovery times that were provided by these watches and so forth and hence for this video we can see that yes the huawei watch fit 2 did outdo a massive gtr3 quite significantly now all things considered it is off by just under 10 percent it is a better result than the ms with gtr3 but it's not exactly a fantastic result either way anyways make sure to hit the red subscribe button below the video to watch the next footage where we break down this activity into its details such as the heart rate such as the plots that you see on the watch as well as the fitness details and the fitness metrics that you get from these two watches on this exercise thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one